Why are we here today, John? Well, we're looking at a slip and we're thinking we might uh, want to put a boat in it this year. A boat? A boat. What? A 26 foot Tanzer. Possibly could purchase tomorrow if uh, everything goes well and uh, see what happens. Well, let's see the marina. It's pretty exciting. Big old town of Innisfil. Guilford Beach. I'm John and that's Nikki. Together we bought a 26 foot sailboat for 3000 bucks and named her Vanilla Tang Tang. We picked up a GoPro camera along the way and learned to use editing software so we could properly document our journeys. Nikki works in administrative healthcare and is also a longtime fitness instructor and personal trainer. I've worked in the auto industry, built airplanes, wrote a couple of fiction novels, and currently work as a shipper in the construction industry. This is our home, Barrie, Ontario, located on the shores of Kevinfelt Bay, the western arm of Lake Simcoe. And this is Cook's Bay, also on Lake Simcoe, and home to our SV Vanilla Tank Tank, about 80 kilometers north of Toronto. Here we go! Well, here she is in all her glory. We realized she needed some TLC, but her bones were good. We planned on doing everything on a very tight budget, so we knew we had our work cut out for us. A little ice in the engine compartment, and the electrical left something to be desired. It appeared there was a crack in the roller furling line that worried us. And, well, there was a bird's nest in the mast. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? We are going to fix up our boat. We have a uh, battery in the back, a new marine battery that we're going to plug in and see if the electric's working. It is. What's the temperature today? Minus 8 right now. Minus 8. Minus 8. The boat is sitting in a yard and we are going to use a space heater and uh, see what we can do. Clean up the wood and you know, do a little bit of painting and scraping and... How many days to launch? Figuring stuff out. There's 42 days left to launch. Alright, let's do this. What you doing? I'm attempting to uh, rejuvenate this. I think it'll look amazing when you're done, for sure. The sanding took what, about an hour and a half? What else are you going to do when it's too fucking cold to work on the boat? Oh, language, language. Oh, I guess there is. Alright, I'll leave you be. I took home and it was easily removed and sanded it and stained it with a $10 can of cherry min wax. I think it turned out pretty fantastic. There was even enough left over to do the interior. Grubbing the deck. Grabbing the side of the boat. Pretty dirty. What are you doing? Taking a break. The fumes are getting to me. The sail was in pretty good shape. Just had a tiny little tear. Thing we'll get to in another episode.
The hatch, well, it was functional. And the rudder had a crack that my dad, who's a bodyman, was able to fix. Happy Easter. Uh, so today is um, Good Friday. So here we are. We decided we would come and work on the boat. Can't really visit with family or do too much of anything else right now. So uh, we're doing some boat projects. We have about three weeks, I think, until splash day. And we've been trying to get up, get done some of the things that we can, but the weather has been super cold. It is minus two today. I am sitting in here with a winter jacket and a hoodie and I have a space heater going. So. Um, okay, so what I'm working on today is the window coverings. It's been a little project that's been eaten away at me for uh, a few weeks. So here's what I have discovered. Okay, so I have these little rods. Okay, found them in the dollar store. It was a buck forty-seven. Hang on here. I'll try this again. So here, so a package of rods. It was a dollar forty-seven, and it's technically a really, really, really long. I think forty. 48 inch rod so you put the two pieces together but I actually only need the 24 so I'm using one package is giving me um, two posts or two rods and so for each window I am needing um, and I'll show you over here for each window I need one for a rod for the top and a rod for the bottom so this is what I'm doing and I'm using these stickies I found they're little tabs okay found them at Walmart a box of 20 which is exactly what I needed sorry 32 box of 32 which is exactly what I needed because I need four of these per window okay so I'm sticking took me a little bit to measure my measurements probably aren't the best okay and then for the actual curtain what I'm doing is I found for one dollar these tea towels okay found them at Giant Tiger so what I'm doing and I'll show you one that I already finished okay is this so what I'm doing is I'm sewing I'm folding it in half and sewing it I don't have the best sewing job I'm working on it okay and then what I'm doing is I'm putting a rod through the top I'll show you okay. rod through the top and I'm gonna put a rod through the bottom Okay, and then I'm sticking them up on the window. So I will show you my finish, um, finished product. Uh, not, <laughs> no promises here, but I think I might have figured something out that works pretty good. All right, so I will show you the end result. John with his new toy. What do we have here? We have the Milwaukee Orbital Sander. Random Orbital Sander. We don't know why it's called random. And we're using a bunch of discs and we're trying to bump it again. Oh well it works. A little tang tang. Okay, so welcome. Um, happy well day off for me anyway. I am working on some more boat pro projects today. So this little screen came with um, the boat. It's got some Velcro on it. You'll notice but it's really old and moldy. And this attaches to the V-Birth window so that you can have a screen, keep your V-Birth open, and um, not allow the bugs in, obviously, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to reuse it. So I'm gonna try to wash it out. I bought some uh, Velcro, some new Velcro. I'm gonna take off the old stuff and um, try and install some new stuff and see how it works. I will let you know how the finished project goes. Okay, what do we have? I don't know, what is it? What do you think it is? Huh? Watch your eyes. I'm dangerous with scissors. 
I just don't want to poke into it because I don't want to wreck anything. But kind of figure I know what it is. You ordered something. And it just came. Express, Post, FedEx, whatever. I want to be careful not to damage the contents inside because it is very, very important. Oh my gosh, how many layers is there? It's crazy. Just being careful. Just being careful. Oh, pay attention to the name. Okay. Oh. Okay. Get inside. Almost there. Okay, that's translucent. <laughs> it's in there. This is the culmination of. A lot of thinking and wondering and waiting and stressing how to do it and all of that. Let's see. Holy cow. Oh boy. Is that the font that you wanted? It looks like it. Okay, big reveal. Well, I can't see much. Vanilla Tang Tang Berry Ontario. That looks good. It does. So that's for the back. That's the back. That's the transom sign. And then let's hold it up. The Vanilla Tang Tang. Vanilla Tang Tang. So the story is, we went down south. And we walked by a um, native couple that was dark skinned, darker skinned than us, anyway. And uh, it was a husband and wife or girlfriend, boyfriend type deal. And uh, she looked at him and smacked him after he was looking at my girlfriend <laughs> and said, What, you like the vanilla tang tang? And thus the creation name of our boat. So I went online, I went to bannerbuzz.ca, I'll have to check that, and um, pick the fonts, pick the size, it took a lot of measuring, understanding the space, understanding, understanding the size of the font, so my advice to you is really thinking about the space you need that goes from the top of one letter to the bottom of the other. And I said that was six inches, and she said, I'm a man, I don't know what six inches is. Turned out he didn't. Actually, no, I said it was eight inches. That's yes. what I said, and it turned out to be... About six inches. Only six inches. So. so we picked blue font. I think the name... We had a giggle about that one. Anyway, I was positive that they were eight inches high. They're only six. They're only six. So, so tomorrow will be the big reveal. We're trying to put uh, these on the boat. Um, and just so you know, it cost me about $100 Canadian and shipping and everything for, for two... One on one side, one on the other, and Starburn the transom. And our transom sign. Cool. Yay. We did all the prep work. That's the most important thing. Prep work. So scrubbing and buffing the surface. Yeah. time and methodically plotted it out where we want it to be. Second go. Second burst came out the first. This time. Yeah, this time I think we got it good. I think we did too. You just don't want to fall off the edge. 
good. There is a nice 15 foot drop to the ground. Won't feel very pretty. I don't think we'll be doing much sailing if we fall off. For the teak on the outside, we sanded it down, cleaned out quite a few spiders and twigs, taped it, and then used our $10 can of Minwax. It looked great in the end. The one thing I would recommend is using a clear coat or a weatherproofing coat on the outside. However, for the sake of getting started, we thought this was pretty good for now. Giving it a nice thorough wash before we do the bottom coat, BC-17. Probably wipe it down with acetone too before we paint, just to make sure there's no grease spots or anything slick that's going to let the paint come away from the hull. She's come a long way. It's looking good. Looking so good. So, here's a little bag of copper with the VC-17 and we are going to proceed to paint the hull. I'm pretty sure we pour all the copper into the VC-17 which we're going to mix in a bottle we got yesterday from the recycling downstairs and previously painted surfaces, hard anti-fouling paint. Due to the porosity of hard anti-fouling paint, it will need to be sanded several times to reach an accessible surface for application of VC-17. So, we didn't sand it, but uh, we're going to go over this and it feels pretty nice. Right? Mixing. Empty the contents of the copper bag found under the blue lid into the base. Mix thoroughly. Stir occasionally during application. So, we're going to shake it occasionally during operation. application. So I'm going to do it in the car because it's windy out here. This here. All right, so we've got almost half the boat done with our VC-17 coat. And the purpose of this type of paint is... Anti-fouling. Anti-fouling. Keep all the craters off the bottom. Okay, so our job is finished. We got the bottom coat put on. Um, sadly, unfortunately, we did underestimate how many cans we need. And then we're talking, it's about $120 a can. We purchased two cans. It was not enough. As you can tell, we did not get our keel done. <sighs> Lesson learned.